What up, Talking Fight fans? Thanks for tuning in to this great episode of Knuckle Up, featuring your man Mike or at four and my man Cedric Ben in the den. And you guys know what you're here for. It's another one of these wonderful prospects that we're bringing your way because we're the only channel out here doing it. Cedric, we just watched this kid come through with the most devastating knockout, I think, maybe of the weekend. And we're talking about Christian and Billy. Yes. Um, 12, uh, uh, what's his record? 21 wins with 19 uh, knockouts. KO. No 19 losses. KO, zero losses. You can tell he's very confident in his uh, in his power and, and understands the power he has because when most people, you know, when most guys get knockouts, you know, they'll put their hands up, you know, climb up on the ropes, put their hands up and scream. Like he just knocks people out and just casually walks back to his corner, like as if like this is a just another day at work, like as yep. if this was already supposed to happen. That's um, because that's what this kid is about, and he's been doing this since the beginning. Uh, you know, this kid when he started, okay, he turned pro in 2017. Uh, you know, he was WBC Youth World Champion, and he racked up 12 straight KO victories in just two years. Promoted by Yvonne Michel, who we know out of Montreal. Um, you know, Mabilly won his WBC youth belt with a three-round demol like demolition of Argentinian Marcos uh, Camarillo, who was 19-2 with 18 KOs. And uh, honestly, this kid's been banging out people since he started. Honestly, what 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 a what a demol like what a devastating knockout that he brought this weekend, man. If you guys haven't seen it, he fought his countryman uh, Najib. Mohammedi at the Montreal Casino. And um, honestly, in the second round, Mabili ramped up things. And uh, with his suffocating style and constant pressure, um, you know, and, and he's hurt this guy. And definitely, it, it was a sight to see. <laughs> it was definitely yeah. a sight to see. This kid definitely has power in both his hands, man. Um, you know, the guy that he fought was a boxing icon in France. And, you know, he wanted to prove that he was still part of the elite of the world stage by, you know, defending or defeating young, hopeful Mabili. But, you know, Mabili came through and demolished him through the entire match. This kid has heavy hands. He's got great punching power in both hands, and he's not afraid to use it. Uh, yeah, Cedric. Both, both hands. Like, that, that, the last knockout was the left hook. And um, his reflexes... And reaction time are very good because a lot of his knockouts come from him covering up and and uh, defending a few punches and just springing out of that with a with a quick counter punch either with a left hook or right hand like he has power in both hands. Yes, this uh, highlight of all of his knockouts and yeah. um and he has the, the like the type of uh, um, power that to the body like sometimes when you hear some some someone to the body you take a second to go down. Um, even the headshots, like you, know, you see, guys try to they they try to, you know, try to try, try to endure it, but then they just take a knee because it's just like man, I they they cannot withstand that power. So, no, um, you know, him and his family they moved to France from Cameroon when he was seven years old. Uh, he got into boxing as a teenager after watching a tape of Mike Tyson and quickly became an amateur star in France. So he racked up his amateur record is eighty wins with twelve losses. Uh, you know, winning a gold medal at the Youth European Championships in 2013, uh, another gold at the European Union Games in 2014, and representing France at the 2016 Olympic Games. And at the Olympics, Mabili uh, defeated the tutored amateur uh, Dimitrio uh, Mastroyo Fanov of Ukraine and uh, Marlon Delgado of Ecuador, and he lost in the third round to uh, eventual Olympic champion Arian Lopez of Cuba. So, you know, what makes this kid special and, you know, this – possible future superstar man uh his trainer mark ramsey says he has the discipline he's a great two-handed punching you know has great two-handed punching power as you can see in all his highlight videos and the capacity to throw non-stop punches uh mark ramsey believes that he has one of the best cardios that he's ever seen in a boxer and guys when you watch this kid fight you will definitely see that he doesn't break a sweat man he he's in there he's so calm he's cool he's collected He's in there to do work. And when he does this work, you know, he's there to punch that card and punch out as fast as he can. And he's definitely doing that. And, you know, he's promoted by Jim, GYM promotions. Uh, you know, Eve, Eve Michelle. It's huge. Uh, you know, for him to be coming. He's he's not known very well 
you know, he's known a little bit internationally, but you know, the U S market doesn't know this guy yet. The Canadian market really doesn't know this guy. Um, and you know, the UK might not really know him yet either, but they are going to know this kid's name. He is definitely here. He's definitely making a statement. And, you know, with, with the devastating knockout that he came through with, uh, on the 26th, we're going to see this kid for a long time. Yeah, man. Um, especially on a knockout of the week, he, he was runner up last week. Um, definitely one of the runner ups with, with the, the way that his opponent went just straight back. Like he was taking a dive into a pool. Yeah. Back dive yeah. Into it, a pool. Like, honestly, yeah. it, it was an eye opening one punch fifth round knockout. Uh, you and, know, and then the, and then the casual walk off by uh, yeah, and Billy. we're not talking we're not talking to nobody, man. This was an experienced veteran, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know his you know his forty four wins with eight losses, uh, Mohammadi, you know was coming into that ring, you know very experienced veteran here, and you know Christian Mabili, he just came through and you know walk you know walked it, mopped the floor with this kid, man. He came out fast. You know, look to go to the body. His early pressure kept Mohammed honest and moving backwards, looking for the opening. In the second round, Billy ramped up things with his suffocating style and constant pressure. Uh, you know, the 2016 French Olympian visibly hurt Mohammed in the final seconds of the round. The pattern continued into the third, but Billy bringing extreme pressure to Mohammed, looking to try to land the count, uh, land a counter. However, Billy was one of the you know fittest boxers you'll find, and didn't look like relating to. He makes his opponent fight three minutes every round. Like, he is constant pressure. There is no break. When this kid comes at you, he is used in that entire three minutes because of the cardio that this kid has and his ability to land these punches the way he does. You know, he closed with a show in a dramatic knockout, man. You can see it. It's at 245 in the fifth round. The two boxers exchanged punches. Billy uncorked a huge left hook that landed flush. Uh, Muhammad, he toppled backwards and landed flat, man. Like he was still like, you know, like he, like he was a statue. It was, it was an insane knockout guys. We are going to definitely put a link to this in the comments. So you don't have to search for it, man. Mabili is one of these kids. Be on the lookout for this kid, man. You know, representing France, born in Cameroon. He's ranked first out of 33 in the super middleweight division in France. He's 17 out of 1,282 in the world. You know, sporting a 90.48% knockout rating. He's only 26 years old, 5'8 and a half, 72 inch reach. Guys, you're going to love watching this kid, man. So definitely put an asterisk beside his name. Be on the lookout for this kid, man, to be doing big things very, very soon. And you heard it here, man, at 4 o'clock with Mike Orr and Cedric Ben in the den on Knuckle Up because we're the only channel doing this. Any last words, Cedric? Uh, man, just make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't yet, man, get that membership four ninety nine a month. Get your exclusive content. Tag your favorite boxers, guys. You know what it is. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same channel, new prospect. Knock them up.